housing data this week, got to say it, existing home sales down 2%, a 5% gain had been expected. And here's the whopper, new home sales, this is sales of new homes, down almost 33%. So much for housing leading any recovery. Joining the company now is Greg Rand with Better Homes and Gardens Rand Realty. All right, Greg, welcome to the show. Uh, before we go to our uh, talk, I've got to say, uh, Freddie, and, uh, Freddie Mac, 30-year uh, fixed right. rate mortgages, awesome. average rate. 4.69%. Okay, let's not deal with that. Let's deal with the real estate situation. Right. You cannot tell me. You can't paint a rosy picture of real estate at this moment. Sales are down, new and existing homes, they're down. Okay. I want to give you guys the accurate picture because you're, I'm, I'm going to break you of a bad habit that you guys have here. And that is, it's not just you, it's the <laughs> economists, it's everybody who talks about housing. You're focusing too much short term and you're missing the trend. I'll give you an example, okay? Uh, Charles, pick a t tell me a stock that's trending upward this year. Apple. Apple, okay. Well, maybe th that's going crazy. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only one. Well, that's set myself up. Well, you mentioned wind. Um, yeah. yeah. Earlier. You pick a stock that's trending upward. You know that if you zoom in real close on that stock, you're going to see that in the middle of the day, intraday trading is right. doing this, okay? These stats you guys are measuring, May to April, okay? That's the bouncing of the housing market. That's the zoomed way in, looking too closely, right. and trying to draw the trend. The stat that that report that you just quoted had in it that you didn't report on was that May home sales compared to last May was up 19.3. Okay? Yeah, but so May is not like April. May is like May. And that's we had a hopeless comparison because May of last year, we were down in the dumps. Uh, you know, we, we have eight months in a row of that, though. From October all the way through May, we've had an average of 20% increase over but last you have, year. But you that's have 8 million mortgages that are past due. Deutsche Bank says that by first quarter 2011, 25 million homes will have little to no equity right. whatsoever. Wh where's that trend? That trend, that trend is that's gonna, dismal. Well, it's, it's, it's dismal for the folks that are going through it, no doubt. But what, I'm gonna, what I see happening right now is that the price, the rates and the price, and just a little percolating optimism is causing people who are on the sidelines to come off the sidelines. Tax credit help, but nobody buys the house because of eight grand. They buy the house for all the traditional reasons. Eight grand drives the timing. But what you just described is what I believe, there's going to be a double dip in pricing, no doubt about it, because we're finding the bottom so the right now. prices are going to go down a bit more. Yeah, but it's going to be those foreclosures that yeah. does it. And that's, that represents an overcorrection next year and the year after. And that's the opportunity that I think people, people who are watching this, who've got some money, who are trying to figure out how to play the situation, yeah. well, that's what they want to watch for, that overcorrected why, inventory. Then why do we have every week uh, less demand for mortgages and the pricing for mortgages going down and down? New records, new records, new records, fewer demand for, you know, more, all, the, all the mortgages that are being uh, originated are refinancing right now. Right. But, well, no, that's not true. Purchase mortgages are strong still. And again, if you're, if you're going to give me month to month, that's the same thing as me saying Apple's doing badly because 30 seconds ago Apple went down a little bit, right? right? The trending in real estate is definitely positive. There's no question that if you look at the long-term chart, the bottom of the sales turnover was last year, and the that's trending upward. But the, the trend in the inventory is not getting much better. You're at an eight-month supply right now. I mean, isn't 10-year average closer to 5 or 6%? I mean, that, yeah, that's no, but it's, well, yeah. The inventory going up creates a situation where we're talking about two different things, home sales and home prices. Home prices are definitely finding a natural bottom now, and as I said, there's going to be an overcorrection when that, that shadow inventory actually hits, which is an opportunity. You look to California, Nevada, Arizona, they kind of give us the clues of what's going to happen in the rest of the country when that bottled up foreclosure inventory hits, which is bargain hunters attack. Because those banks, they give us, they hire us, brokers like us, to sell those properties. They give us the well, order. I want a 30-day price on this. They want that thing unloaded in 30 days. Big opportunity. People see it. And there's still enough people, you know, 90% still employed. Still enough people out yeah. there that are gobbling up the housing. Uh, look, we're not saying that housing is depressed in the doldrums. It's dying. You're not? We're, no, no. We are saying that the uptrend is much slower than it should be. Well, there bearing is no in mind where yeah. we're right. coming not from. Prices, we, yeah. we understand there's an uptrend in sales, yeah. but not on prices. Prices is going to wait until the next economic re revival. You're All right, Greg, the next Glengarry Glen Ross part two, we'll use that, that whole <laughs> monologue right there. Greg, <laughs> <Grand laughs> <Grand laughs> for closers. All right, thanks very much, Greg. We appreciate you.